Thursday morning all and we are out on this today uh, test drive for a customer and this is the SX125 in orange what we will do we shall pull into my uh, little photography bay as I call it my park where we do our photos and ride tests where we start from and I will get a full walk round of this bike but obviously for the purposes of ride testing 40 to 45 mile an hour first 500 miles and I've got to be nice to this one because this one has been purchased by Andy a GSA tractor one of the youtubers and he's purchased this for his lad Paul so nice little ride test so Andy can see the video and uh, go RB you didn't put your indicator on or right count the potholes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eight nine nine twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four there's about forty potholes on that stretch of road ringway you are useless I've got to be the most potholed stretch of road in Milton Keynes. There's more tarmac on a speed bump than it's in them potholes. So, we're going to have a wander down here. And the boring ride down the dual carriageway, obviously the hill climb. And then, back to the garage, warm up, cup of coffee time. It is wet, it is cold, it stopped raining, that's the best bit. It's pondering along very, very good, 40 mile an hour, job done. Now, WK bikes, how good are WK bikes? And I would say a damn sight better than some of the Chinese ones that you've got in, coming out on the market as well. So. Forget your uh, Yamasakis and all your Jinjangs and Wujangs and whatever's coming out. Obviously one of the biggest sellers is Lexmoto. So their budget bike starts at $199.99. And of course, don't forget you've got your £200 on the road fee. With any bike, which is for your registration, tax, insur uh, not insurance, registration, tax, fuel, number plates, L plates, and the PDI and prep. And obviously not many dealers do a ride test on every bike which takes up most of my day when we start selling shed loads of bikes but that is the reason why we do ride tests customer can see his bike being ridden at the correct mileage and not ragged around town like some dealers do but obviously Lex Moto do the Titan which is 1999 99 so two grand that is their budget one. The next one up is the Diablo, which is 2279. Now this has a Diablo front end, but it's the same price as the Titan, 1999.99 and 200 on the road. So 2199 for one of these. And it is a super scoot. The build quality is fantastic. It's not got the cheap Chinese flimsy plastics on it. I'm gonna go just here. It's got a decent set of plastics, it's got a decent engine, the tyres are Timson's, so decent rubber. And we're going to have a quick look round. Now obviously I've got to avoid the reg plate at the back because it has got the customer's reg on it. So we will show you this side of the bike and the halfway round. But there she is, this is the WK in orange. Lovely bit of kit that. Very easy to get in there, check your spark plug, check your oil, OBD is on the side, you haven't got to take the seat bucket out to get into the OBD port, it's on the side of the bike, that's the one thing I do like about the WK. LED all round, projector style headlights, job is a good one. Now on the dash, date, time, how many miles you've done, speedo left right indicators main beam and engine management light but look at this set that mirror up there's my shoulder same on this one it's one thing i didn't do when i came out of the garage set the mirrors up but mirrors on this are very very good brakes are lovely and stiff as well and then you've got your basics horn indicators 
pass light and main beam on and off. Now, watch this. Left hand indicator gives you left. Make sure you cancel. Right hand indicator is there. Cancel. If you happen to do right, forget about it and turn left, you get the hazards. Hazards are all on one button. No separate button here for a hazard light switch. But what's it like at low speed? So keep an eye on that speedo. There we go. Pick both feet up and just hold it on the back brake and it's really really manoeuvrable now roads are obviously soaking wet so I'm not going to be cornering it too hard today on fresh rubber but suspension is lovely and firm on this as you would expect my suspension on this is actually better than the Lex Motor Titan which is one thing I love about these WKs the build quality and the price, as I said on my first video with WK, and their WK are climbing all over me at the moment. They love my reviews. Thanks very much, WK. But, as I said on the first review that I did, you get a lot of bang for your buck. They are a really good selling bike. Thank you, Mr. Car Driver. Right, so we're off. How quick to get up to 40? Half throttle, not full throttle. It's there. Now these are good for about 65 mile an hour once you've run them in compared to your, check the spec out, if you go on the Lexmoto page, Lexmoto Titan they reckon the top speed on the Titan is about 50 <coughs> the Diablo, you're good for about 60 but this thing, they reckon it will do at least 65 once run in which is going to keep you up on the national speeds which is a great thing and it does run away with you. Look at that, 47 mile an hour. Slow it down, RB, slow it down. These have got a lot of more horsepower. I think there's a, about two horsepower more out of this than you would get out of the Titan. But low speed maneuverability, just pulling up there, just hold it on the back brake, wait for the car to clear. Cancel the indicator. Remember to press the button when you go round the corner. You don't have to push it back to the middle, you press the centre bit and it cancels it. But if you do left and right and you forget about it, you're going to end up putting your hazard lights on. It's one of those quirky things that you get used to. It's like any bike, once you get used to the controls, you are good. But these mirrors, great, I can see everything behind me. Even though I do still do my shoulder checks. And obviously single roads dominate the lane, dual carriageway, I tend to move into position one. But this is a great little scooter for commuting, obviously you've got that little bit of a rack at the back if you want to stick a top box back there you can, there's four little holes in the rear rack to mount your top box I would suggest something like a, a small one, like a 32, don't go putting a 42 litre on one of these because you'll end up uh, putting too much weight on the back of the bike but a 32 litre will take your crash helmet all your little backpack, all your stuff you need for college, school, work, etc, etc. But how good is the brake now? Coming in on rear brake, it's got combined braking. Look at that, didn't it pull down quick? Disc brakes, front and back, and they're decent sized discs. They're not these little micro discs that you would get, like you find on a 50cc. They're a decent set of discs, decent set of calipers and pads, and it does stop you very quick, but it gets up the speed very good. Now the tank on this, believe it or not, some bikes are about five, six litres. The tank on this is four litres. So, a top up at our place will fill the tank up. So we always top the tanks up at our place. Customer gets some fuel. But four litres will get you a good, they reckon that these bikes do at least 100 to 120 to the gallon. So four quid's going to last you the week. 22 or 21 pound for your tax. Insurance is next to nothing on these. A lot of our customers have been saying, "Good God, I managed to insure it for about two, three hundred quid." Brilliant. Happy days for you, sir. But you're getting a lot of bike, and the maintenance costs on these are very, very slim. 950 for your service, depending where you go. And uh, obviously Andy has his own uh, bike garage. And I will give the plug to the other garage as well, so it's 
Darren Spears, ooh, nice little bump there, and that soaked that up. Darren Spears down at HBB Motorcycles, and he's down towards sort of Dunstable area. But a quick plug there for Darren at HBB, I don't mind, because obviously Andy is out of the area, Andy is from down the Hemel Way, so he's not going to be coming all the way up to us for a service, but he will hook it over to Darren. Now with bikes, as long as your service record is stamped by an approved dealer, not your mate in the shed with a can of oil, as long as your service and everything's all done on time and it's by a registered bike dealer, you can go to any dealer, it's what's called block exemption servicing. So for instance, if you bought a brand new BMW, obviously just going back to the BMW dealer, but if the BMW dealer is miles away, you can go into your local garage, get your service, get your books stamped, under block exemption servicing. Makes life very easy for you, and you probably get it a little bit cheaper than what BMW would charge you. So I was just picking on BMWs, but if you haven't heard or seen my ride test, I took the GS12, we've got a GS1200, well we did have a GS1200, ooh, a bit of diesel on the road, stay away from that, look at that oil spill, all the way, drip, 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 all the way down the middle of the road, I'm staying over here out the way, so I took GS1200 out, now it's the first time that I've been on a BMW, and to say that I loved it is an understatement, I really enjoyed being on that GS, so much so, obviously I'm going over to BMW in April, to take out a GS1250 Adventure. Don't know what colour I'm getting. I've had said some can have a triple black. I might get the TE Rally version. I might end up with a blue and red one for a couple of days. Pick it up on a Friday, drop it back on a Monday morning. It means I can leave my car there for the weekend and take the GS out. So I'm going to be out on a GS1250. And if I like it, I may be going down the route of purchasing myself a GS. Yes, everyone said you're going to the dark side. I will keep the GTR. That would be my super sausage bike, but I will be uh, obviously going out doing a lot further afield and using the GS. All depends on what I think and when I ride it, but obviously Andy said to me, the difference between obviously a 2010 and a 2023 is the difference between sort of a chocolate eclair and having a full buffet. You will notice the difference and you will love it. But if, if it's as any, anything as good as a GS that I rode, I probably will. And you can't go far wrong with a GS now. I have gone into a competition tonight and it draws in about, I think, six hours. Into Brev Comps tonight. I got myself four tickets to go and see if I can win an Africa Twin. And I've been playing Revcom, so Revcom is a pretty good thing, because obviously if you don't uh, win the bike, there is the option to win shed loads of vouchers, which is what I did on the, uh, the BMW GS that I entered into last week. And bought four tickets, and uh, ended up with eight. So, uh, about 180 quid's worth of tickets. They did the draw, I'm sitting there watching the screen, watching all the lottery machine roll round, and the winning ticket came out, 1961. Here's me thinking, I've won, I've won, to find out that my ticket was 1981. I'd looked at the ticket wrong. Gutted was the word, but I was so close. But for the sake of 10 quid on a ticket, it's like playing the lottery. You'd probably stand more chance of winning a bike than you would have winning the lottery from last night, we obviously won a, a quite, a, quite a nice little sum on the lottery, so thank you National Lottery. That's going to pay for my uh, fork silvers over at HBB. Yes, the bike, my bike is going over to Darren's, HBB Motorcycles, for him to do my fork stills. And uh, people have said to me, why are you taking it to another dealer when you can get it on the ramp? I don't have time on my ramps with the amount of work that I am doing to get my bike and I know Darren will do a good job so Darren tends to do the stuff that we don't at our place which is like your engine rebuilds, your clutches, major bike stripped down and rebuilding so Darren does all that so big plug to HBB that's about the third time, fourth time I've said HBB motorcycles on this one but then again Darren tends to chuck all the Chinese stuff at us because he doesn't like doing Chinese bikes so it works both ways 
and Darren is a really lovely chap he rides a GS as well and if you haven't seen Darren and his GS 1250 adventure go and check out Wolf Tales UK three different BMWs and Darren's is like the the Rolls Royce stagecoach of the BMWs he's got every extra you can think of on that bike which is why it's obviously swaying me to get a GS so we are 7.8 miles in exactly what I want to be I've now got to take this back to the workshop, clean it, blow all the water off of it, dry it down and put a coat of ACF 50 on it. I've got one final test ride to do and the bike is going out tomorrow, so my final test ride tomorrow I'm going to give Andy a call in a while and we're going to register the bike up. But the bike is running absolutely perfectly. A little bit of a longer video this one. Will you get off of my arse? Typical bloody Ford driver. And thank God for decent sized mirrors. Pothole, yes. And look at that suspension, soak it up. And the other thing people say to me, why do you always park to the inside or outside of a car? Something's coming crunching up behind, if you've seen the YouTube video of the guy that's parked behind the car and a van comes up at speed and crunches him from behind and in the car in front. If you're up the inside and watching your mirrors, something's coming in a little bit hot, you've got a chance to get round the inside of the car. Or if you're on the outside, get round the outside. Never park dead centre on a car because you never know what's coming in from behind. Or if people are on their mobile phones. And I did it again, I put the bloody hazard lights on there. Did you see that? Oops! Went to indicate left, I put the hazards on. A silly RB. You will get used to these buttons after a while. Oh god, what are they doing down here now? More roadworks at Dobby's. Lovely. So ride test is all good. 8.8 .8 miles on the bike now. So we normally put 8 to 10 on a bike bike is running and ticking over lovely now on the ignition switch <coughs> keys there twist it back to turn it off if you push the key in and turn it on left lock you're going to lock the bike up but if you just hold the key and turn it it does unclip the seat so twin operation and it's got a security lock on it you press a little button it shuts it over stops any little oik getting a screwdriver into your ignition barrel so nice little bit of extra security usb chargers down here and a decent sized pocket to put your mobile phone in or your cleaning rag or a pair of gloves or bits and pieces and I will put that rubber down on that mirror over the top got a final PDI with me in a minute I've got to get it in bulk check it clean it off but a cup of coffee is awaiting me I think and while we're going past here we go Milton Keynes top nightclub pink punters lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender they do it all there and members of the public normal people as well as they say but it's a great little place to go in and have a beer and a bit of music so that's pink punters more roadwork vehicles more potholes Oh, don't you love Milton Keynes? Right, wait for this car, pull it up on the brakes. A little bit of low speed manoeuvring. Look at that. On the power, let's just go full bore. Wind it up. There we go, straight to 40. Right, don't take long to get this thing at 40. There's a lot of horsepower. A good bit of torque there as well. Lovely little bike. So, ride test completed for Andy, GSA tractor for his lad Paul. All good, no issues whatsoever. And look, more diesel on it. God, the state of these roads. Oil and diesel and crap everywhere. Right, back to the workshop we go. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Like, don't forget, live stream Friday. And leave your comments and down below. A list of all the motor vloggers is in the uh, description down below as well, so you can follow Andy, you can follow all the boys. But until then, let's see what we've got. So, Blue SX is going out next week.
MXI is going out next week, the Diablo is going out next week, and Rev's bike's there. And if you're interested, we have just had it in, because obviously the GS has gone. We'll just walk this bike back and park it up, and I will show you what we have just here. There it is, BMW. It's K1300. That is up for sale came in on a part exchange it is absolutely immaculate optimizer on it it's got the Lomo bags that extend up here sat nav and it's got in-off cameras front and back on this one and phone bracket and of course the BMW Motorrad sat nav is there as well on it so that is up for sale if you're interested in that give me a shout and you can uh, obviously if you want a Lexmoto or one of these fantastic WKs give a bike sales team a call 01908 822458 is the number but for myself RB be well ride safe and it's a big goodbye from me